Let's go to page 476 and start with number one. Okay, so for this one, you want to break this into two separate logs. So log base two of m to the six n to the three. So first you want to separate the two. So this equal to log base two of m to the six plus log base two of n to the three. Okay, then after you apply the third law, so the exponent come to the front, and the exponent come to the front, okay, and that's it. Okay, and let's go to number three. Okay, yeah, log base two of m times square root of n. Okay, so again, first separate the two. And instead of square root, I'm going to make it one half power, okay? So this is this, this is this. Then after that, I'm going to apply the third law to bring this to the front. All right, so exponent come to the front. That's your third law. And that's it for number three. <coughs> okay, let's go to number five. Log of base two, log base two of m to the four, n to the three. So again, first I'm going to separate the two, but because it's a division, so it will become subtraction. <coughs> okay, and now tonight apply the third law. So the four come to the front, and this one three come to the front. And that's it. <coughs> okay, let's go to number seven. Okay, log base two of, and instead of copy the problem the same, I'm just going to separate the cube, um, separate the radical, the top and the bottom. Okay, so that will save me one step. Okay, so again, let's go and separate the two. So divisions, you have to subtract. Okay. Then after that, I'm going to make this exponent, make it into exponential form. This will be n to the 3 over 2 power. Then after that, I'm going to move this to the front using the third law. And this one goes to the front using the third law. Okay, and that's it. <coughs> okay, so this one you need to evaluate without using the calculator. Okay, so number nine. Okay, first you have to write down all the giving. So log 10, uh, log base 10 of 9 equal to 0 0.95. And then log base 10 of 2 equal to 0 0.30 and again remember you have to know the other two right so log 10 of base 10 equal to 1 log base 10 of 1 equal to 0 <coughs> so you have to know these two okay so that's going to evaluate so number 9 you're looking for log base 10 of 81 okay so 81 again you want to break down into 9, 2, 10, or 1 okay so this is equal to um, you, you, you can either do 9 square or, or 9 times 9, so it doesn't matter. So if you do the 9 square, then you can make the 2 come to the front. So it becomes 2 log base 10 of 9. And now once you got a log 9, you can evaluate. So this is equal to 2 times 0 0.95, so equal to 1.90. So number 11, you have log uh, base 10 of square root of 2. Okay, square root of 2 is equal to 2 to the 1 half power. Okay, then I'm going to move this to the front. 
Okay, now once I get log 2, I can evaluate, right? So this is equal to 1 half times 0 0.30. So this is equal to 0 0.15. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's go to number 13. Okay, you have log of, log base 10 of 8. So again, you want to break into those numbers. So realize that this is going to be equal to 2 to the 3 power. Okay. So break this into the base 2, then apply the third law to bring the 3 to the front. Now you can evaluate this. Okay, so this is equal to 3 times 0 0.30, so this is equal to 0 0.90. Okay, let's go to next one. So I'm going to keep this with me so I can kind of follow. Okay, so page 476, number, okay, what number are we on? Let's see, number 15. Okay, okay number 15, we're looking for a log, base 10 of 20 over 9. Okay, so again, you have to break this into a combination of those numbers. So this will equal to, now 20 equal to 2 times 10, Right. So, so I can use 2, 10, and 9, so I'm good. So I, as long as you break this into combination of those numbers, so they're fine. So this is equal to log 2 plus log 10 minus log of 9. <clears throat> so again, when you have multiplication, you add, division, you subtract. Okay, so now you can substitute your numbers. So log 2 is 0 0.30. Log 10 is 1, log 9 is 0 0.95, okay, so you substitute, okay, and you work it out, so equal to 0 0.35. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number 17, you have log base 10 of 1 over 9, okay. So you can flip it over using the negative exponent, so become 9 to the negative 1 power, and you can make this come out. So it equal to negative 1 times log of 9, and now you can substitute. Okay. So, so log 9 is 0.95, so this is equal to negative 0.95. Okay, let's do number 19. <coughs> we are mark base 10 of, and um, I'm going to separate the two. Okay, Okay, I'm going to use a second law to separate the two parts. So this is equal to log uh, base 10 of cube root of 2 minus log base 10 of q root of 9. Then I'm going to make it into exponential form. So this is 2 to the 1 third power. And this is 9 to the 1 third power. And then this can come out. <coughs> the 1 three, one third can come out. Okay, then you can evaluate. <coughs> So log 2, oh, this is base 10, okay, okay, so log 2 is equal to 0 0.30, log 9 is 0 0.95, and it would be easy if you just go and factor the one third, okay, so this is probably easy to evaluate. So equal to one third times negative zero point six five. So equal to negative zero point two. Um, if you just run it off, it'd be negative zero point two two. Okay. Okay. Let's go to next one. <clears throat> Okay, you have 5 log base 4 of P 
plus log base 4 of q. Okay, so this one, they, they want you to combine everything together into one log. Okay, so first you have to move this to the inside. Okay, so apply the third law first, and then you apply the first law. Okay, and that's it. Next one, you have 4 log base 3 of A minus 1 half log base 3 of B. Okay, so you can first apply the third law to bring the number to the inside. Okay, then after that you can combine them together. So this subtraction becomes division, so be a to the four over b to the one half. Okay, and then you can get rid of the one half power because that's a square root. So be a to the four square root of b. <coughs>